All right, just getting to, ready to leave Tri Corner Shelter here. It is like 11, 15, something like that. You know, me rolling out late, but uh, that's all right. We got 7.7 .7 to go to the next shelter, and uh, it's supposed to rain. Who knows? Initially, it was like 11 p.m. last night. Then it was 2 a.m., 8 a.m. Now it's sometime after 2 p.m. today, so who knows when it's going to rain, but... Hopefully it just keeps pushing and we'll be at the next shelter. It is uh, booked up as well as this one was for last night. But hopefully like last night, they don't show. And we can get a spot in the shelter. Because uh, I prefer to sleep dry than sleep in a tent, especially on a slope. So if not, hopefully we get a flat spot for tent. And uh, then we'll get down the trail. So here we are walking through one of the spooky forests, I like to call them. Like, it's kind of dark out anyway, but like no light comes through the trees anyway, even if it's bright out. And uh, the ground is all green with these different moss, dark green and light green and moss on the trees and everything. It's so cool. It's just so different. But uh, yeah, marching through a section like this uh, most of today is going to be downhill um, there's a little bit of up but it's not too bad uh, so hopefully my feet don't hurt too bad after this um because the downhill always seems to hurt the feet but uh we're working on that and other than that we're just marching along here Alright, so hiking along through a little bit of drizzle and uh, we come across what is called the helicopter pad. If I had to guess, this is where in an emergency they would land a helicopter in order to get somebody out of the mountains. That's just a guess, but I don't know why else it would be called the helicopter pad. And really it's just a flat spot up here, but it would be probably the perfect spot to uh, land a helicopter if needed. So. Looks like there was a fire up here, maybe a single fire, or somebody maybe camped up here, over there. But uh, beautiful view, it's kind of windy today. Uh, you can see like the, the mist or the smoke rising out off the trees, giving the Smoky Mountains, look at all that, their name. So this is actually perfect because we get to see the smoke rising out of, like off the trees and out of the valley, which is where of course Smoky Mountains get their name. So with that, we're going to get back to the trail and uh, we've got a little ways to go still. So I don't think we're quite halfway, but uh, we're working on it. All right. So we got to this place where, according to gut hooks and most of the guides, there is a plane wreck. It looks like we can see it down there, but there's a plane wreck, a military plane from the 1980s, I believe it was, that crashed here. They didn't quite make it over the top of the of the mountain I guess the crest of it or whatever and crashed here supposedly at like 400 and something miles an hour 420 miles an hour or something so we're going down to see what we can see oh kind of hate to go all the way down here because it's going to be a beast coming back up but hopefully we'll get I don't know what's left of this wreckage might not be much I imagine if it was a military thing that uh, anything of value or markings has been taken off anyway just a guess but usually they try and get all that stuff so civilians don't 
plunder it and take stuff away, but oh wow, yep. You can see where all the rivets held it together and everything. That's crazy. Wow. Looks like this is all that's left of it that I can see. Oh, there's more down, way down there. Huh. I wonder if I should go down there. If it would be worth it or not. Get a few pictures of it. And uh, I think I am going to try and go at least a little further down and see if... Because uh, I can see what looks like a big piece way down there, but I can't tell from here. I mean, it might just be another little piece like this. So I think I'm going to go down at least a little bit further. But there's another piece. It looks like it might have been the edge of the wing or something. Hard to tell for sure, but especially after it's all mangled. But uh, it's pretty cool. And uh, the other piece I saw down there, it's still a ways down there. I don't know if I really want to. I don't know if you can see it through the trees on the camera or not. So yeah, now I can see it's just couple more scrap pieces probably in better condition than these ones up top but i don't think it's worth scrambling down to i just kind of hoped i'd find something more than a little little pieces the problem is now i gotta go back up um i'm gonna put the camera away for that because i should have brought my other trekking pole down too but uh oh well all right well as you can see the uh, sun has come out all the way we have a nice bright trail ahead of us we're only 0.2 from the shelter and my right ankle is absolutely killing me i'm in agony i don't know what i did to it it's this downhill but i don't know if there's something specific i twisted it on or what but it is hurting so bad so looking forward to resting probably getting my feet propped up a little bit hopefully it'll be better by morning i'll probably take some tylenol i haven't done that and haven't had to do that in quite a few weeks actually so I guess that's a good thing, but uh, hopefully this ankle isn't, uh, ooh, hopefully it's not anything but just a slight sprain or whatever that'll be fine by morning. So we'll see with that. Uh, hopefully we'll also find a flat tent spot for tonight. Uh, the rain looks like it's staying away for a little while, but it has a chance of raining somewhat tonight. And then I think afternoon tomorrow, something like that. So hopefully it'll stay fairly dry. And uh, it'd be nice if we had a dry tent to pack up in the morning instead of packing it up wet. But uh, we shall see, and I'll see you at the site. All right, well, we are here. The uh, shelter's down there with the water and bear cables and all that. Everybody's down there. Uh, most are staying in the shelter, although there are a few tents set up. There's two there and one somewhere in that direction behind the trees. And then I'm going to take this little spot up here. It's uh, It's got a little bit of a dip to it, so if there's too much water or too much rain, I might uh, get flooded out. But it said less than a tenth of an inch, so <sighs> let's hope that the forecasters are right for once. Or if they're wrong, it doesn't rain at all, because if we get a couple inches of rain, I might get flooded out. But this is where I'm going to set up.